Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called isotretinoin, commonly known by its brand names such as Accutane, Absorica, Claravis, and others. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Isotretinoin is an oral medication primarily used to treat severe acne that has not responded to other treatments. It's a derivative of vitamin A and falls under the category of retinoids. Initially approved by the FDA in 1982, isotretinoin works by reducing the amount of oil released by oil glands in your skin, helping your skin renew itself more quickly. It is also known to reduce inflammation. Beyond treating severe nodular acne, isotretinoin can be effective in preventing acne scarring and managing other skin conditions like rosacea and certain forms of keratosis. Warnings Isotretinoin comes with a significant set of precautions due to its potent effects and potential side effects. It's not intended for pregnant women or those planning to become pregnant due to a high risk of causing severe birth defects. Women of childbearing potential must adhere to strict guidelines, including two forms of birth control and regular pregnancy tests before, during, and after treatment. This medication can also affect your mood and mental health, sometimes leading to depression, psychosis, and rarely, suicidal thoughts. It can have serious effects on your liver, lipid levels, and may increase blood sugar levels. Due to its potency, isotretinoin is available only under a special program called iPledge, which ensures patients meet all safety criteria. Before taking this medicine Before starting isotretinoin, several factors need consideration. It's crucial to inform your healthcare provider if you're allergic to the drug or any of its components. Discuss any history of mental health issues, liver diseases, high cholesterol or triglycerides, diabetes, or any intestinal disorders such as inflammatory bowel disease. Women of childbearing potential need to undergo pregnancy tests before starting the treatment, monthly during the treatment, and a month after completing it. Both males and females should avoid donating blood during treatment and for at least one month after stopping isotretinoin due to the potential risk to pregnant transfusion recipients. Side Effects all medications can have side effects, and isotretinoin is no exception. Common side effects include dryness of the skin, lips, eyes, or nose. Some individuals may experience skin peeling, itching, and sensitivity to sunlight. There can also be joint and muscle pain, and an increased risk of bacterial infections. Serious side effects include severe mental health issues, liver problems, increased cholesterol and triglycerides, pancreatitis, severe skin reactions, and bone growth issues in children and teenagers. It's essential to be aware of these potential side effects and consult your doctor if you experience any unusual symptoms. Interactions Isotretinoin might interact with other medications. Inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking to avoid any adverse interactions. Notably, avoid vitamin A supplements, tetracycline antibiotics, and certain forms of birth control, as these can interact negatively with isotretinoin. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Always adhere to your doctor's recommendations when taking isotretinoin. The typical dosage is based on your weight and can range from 0.5 to 1 mg per kilogram per day, divided into two doses. Treatment courses typically last 15 to 20 weeks. If acne persists or returns, additional courses may be needed after a two-month break. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. Avoid While on isotretinoin, it's advisable to stay hydrated and use moisturizers to manage dryness. Avoid prolonged exposure to sunlight and use sunscreen, as your skin will be more sensitive. Do not donate blood during treatment and for at least a month afterward. Refrain from waxing, dermabrasion, or laser skin treatments during and for several months after treatment, as these can cause scarring. FAQ. Many wonder about the age restrictions for isotretinoin. While it's commonly prescribed for severe acne in teenagers and adults, its use in children under 12 is typically avoided due to potential impacts on bone growth and development. It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing. That wraps up our overview of isotretinoin. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.